Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome to you all. And for those of you who are returning, God bless you. And thank you so much for the explosion of new Scorpio viewers last week. Welcome to you all. God bless you for helping the channel grow. Scorpio, this is a tarot card reading that is timeless. So it comes to you when it's meant to. I do do a new message every single week though. So if you want to get it right off the press, please do subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. This is a message for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign. It's an energy reading. So please take it and let it resonate wherever it resonates in your life. Um, most of what I do is I will give you examples. Um, if, if the example resonates in one part of your life and not the other, that's where it's supposed to resonate. It is your reading. If you want to get deep into the astrology every single week, the specifics, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, and I'll attach the links above um, just in the cards in this video so that you can definitely come over there and enjoy those as well. And remember, merch, baby. Shop the merch. We got hats. We got shirts. We got we just, just come on over. BornWithoutBoundariesTarot.com forward slash shop, baby, shop. Um, loneliness, but it has to do with something in the past. You know, you want to know what, I, as soon as I look at this, what I think, you let it rip. You let what you believe, what you think, you let it rip yelling and screaming and shouting you just had to let it out you just had it it just had to come out of you this has isolated you somehow i don't know if there are thoughts on this what i think because it's coming up now is that there's finally something in the future that you're starting to see the reason why you had to do what you had to do. Um, I think that what this did was it caused you a lot of isolation, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, a lot of loneliness. And the reason why it's coming back around now is there's something to look at and see, oh, the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I understand now. I see why it had to happen the way that it had to happen. I see actually what impact I had. There's a future now. Though you're standing in a place of isolation, loneliness, maybe sadness, or maybe in just being on your own. And it doesn't mean even it doesn't need to be that you're sad. It's just you're on your own, you're alone. You but you're looking forward. There's something on the horizon now that wasn't there before. You wanna know what it is? victory success people accepting you a place where you belong not that i'm not trying to imply everybody always gets on me my my ass about this i don't need anybody it's like okay don't puff up your chest in the comment section what do you got to prove you know i'm just trying to read the cards and say that it's not about fitting in but now it's like you didn't even ask for it there's a sense of finding people who celebrate you finding people who are happy for you also a sense of realizing this has come full circle you blew your top and now you're seeing why you had to because there's a positive outcome here some sort of victory and success and you know what that is that's hard work because you do have to isolate yourself and spend a lot of time alone you have to take that risk in order to actually get things done because success is a lonely path dude the climb to the top, this person is on the pinnacle. And that's a lonely, lonely prospect, but oh my God, the view. So you'll be celebrating. Hopefully you won't be celebrating alone. But I think what it's doing is you're leveling up the people that you're gonna be around. There are gonna be, there's just people who get you, understand you, know you, 
who are on the same level as you and who are celebrating you or you are planning a self literally you're just planning a celebration for the future you're actually being like oh my god the feeling that you get this week is the oh my god i can't believe it's so close either way it is close enough for you to actually see grasp touch at this point there's no this something is definitely winding down winding to its very successful finish Scorpio remember if you are watching this video in late April of 2023 this is the new moon solar eclipse this week and it's squared Pluto and conjunct Jupiter so that's like a huge explosion almost like the a, an explosion in the prison that lets everybody out that kind of sense of oh things are changing and what didn't change before is absolutely changing we have some delusional behavior or distraction this sense of I don't know why seven of cups maybe just confused as I don't know what I want maybe there's just gonna be so much to select from I don't know which to select from you got seven of cups and six of wands though so there's a sense of seeing a victory and getting the rewards but not being sure either that you want anything that you see or even what what it is you want take your time there is a choice that you have to make of what you want more of what you're more passionate about so you will have a selection and be put in a situation where you have to choose this is all still victory is this a wedding like what is going on let me know in the comments below always feel free to leave the comments below but there is definitely a selection or a choice you could just be like what meals am i going to serve it's almost like oh my god it's like it's like happy stress it's like happy choices like these decisions that you're making now are like picking out the flowers for your child's wedding right or making arrangements to go and celebrate your kids graduation or this is like this is like happy selection and happy choices party or celebration maybe you're choosing between two different celebrations but there's definitely four of wands here we're gonna go deeper this could actually be that you put an announcement out last year a couple of months ago you sent out the word and now the event is here what does that mean to you because i'm really excited for you something to do with love something to do with connection something to do with being connected to or part that's you that's you showing up in your own reading it's like maybe a second chance you know maybe maybe it's your second marriage or your i don't know second kid going off to school whatever it is there's a, just this sense of being really really connected and feeling really connected this could be even a second try or a second chance with somebody it doesn't have to be second but it's just a sense of, of you 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 have a lot to choose from um that's you resurrection a resurrection of a connection now remember mercury is going retrograde april 21st too the resurrection of a connection that I don't think you saw happening you were already looking in another direction and found a way to feel real good on your own by yourself and then you didn't have to because as soon as you your attention was elsewhere you freed up the space we gotta we gotta choose a moon card we gotta choose a moon card hold on Hold your vision. You're halfway there. Don't give up now. Your hard work is paying off Capricorn energy. It, that's where it is. It's like you announced, some, this has got to do with something you announced a while back. And it's like, listen, you are legitimately halfway there. And you see, you see the finish line, so keep going. Your hard work is paying off. This is the first time maybe since you started that you really see there's a difference there's a change maybe there's just a change in somebody else in the way that they connect with you an extreme change
I want to get some details. Oh, I hate when I can't find my cards. Um, what do you mean? Is it what? What do you mean? What is what is paying off for Scorpio? A decision to change your world. A decision to a decision that's going to change your world. Um, clear clarity of mind moving forward or realizing this is the time to move forward what are they moving toward to forward to it's almost like you're finally ready there's just this big celebration or party or um an ending of the suffering an ending of the backstabbing there's the lovers here and maybe an ending to an attraction. You're not attracted to the same things as you used to be. You really just sort of became a butterfly. You're not a caterpillar anymore. You're not crawling or walking around on your belly or just sucking shit up. You're not. You have absolutely changed. It's, a, <clears throat> it's an implication that you've changed who you're attracted to. <clears throat> you've changed who you're attracted to. You've changed what you're attracted to. Maybe even you've changed your dollars and cents and your value. But there is a sense of you've changed because you're you're just not who you used to be. There was a total ending here. <clears throat> Maybe an ending of one partnership so that you can open yourself up for another. I want hold on. I apologize, guys. Can you please clarify the Ten of Swords? Please clarify the Ten of Swords for Scorpio. High Priestess, it was just time. It was time to be finished and time to be done. It had caused you a lot of sickness, stress, and pain. Or somebody had been suffering for a long time. Or there was a situation that had been suffering for a long time. And this is when it finally is over but it's because there's healing and because there was hard work this could also mean the date is set for virgo season but i just feel like there was a huge leap of faith this is like this going off on your own to see hey what what is out there that's better and you know how much that just paid off I think you were sick of not being seen and not being heard. Hold on. Hold your vision. Your hard work is paying off. Okay. So let's get some details. Details for Scorpio. What is this all about? A new start, a new beginning, a new life direction. Also, at least by a little, a leap of faith. So what is this leap of faith and what is this new direction? What is this newness? What is this newness? What you value and what you see. Also a sense of leaping onto a new boat or a new ship because it's finally come back in for you. It's like, it's like you get a second chance at a happiness that you could not have experienced when you were earlier in your life because you changed. Your values changed. All the pain and suffering has actually changed you very much like the cocoon really rips apart the caterpillar. I mean, it's gross in there, but the caterpillar is not supposed to exist anymore and it doesn't. You're now the butterfly. This is your butterfly stage, Hierophant. Either you're, you're committing to something new, you're investing in something new, this is new value, steadfastness, tradition, a sense of your ships are finally coming in, maybe even financially, because you took this risk. And you're gonna be so happy you did. This is like, y'all remember a long time ago when like, you know, crypto was only stuff like the nerdy geniuses could mine online? It's gonna be like that for them, but not like now, like five, six years ago, when it was so lucrative 
the few minutes or a few hours it took them to mine that shit was like worth $30,000 a share. You're going to be so happy that you went out on a limb. I think you announced it. It's even implying that you screamed and you shouted. You tried to get everybody to come along with you, but these fuckers just wouldn't. So you, but you, you were brave and you, you went out on your own. And I got to tell you, this is when it really just, this abundance just come, it just gets shipped in. Let's see when, how, where, please join me over in the extended more good news to come. Uh, the links are down below in the description box, pinned to the top of the comment section. I've attached the links above here so you can click right on it and get right to it unless you're watching on a TV, in which case none of the links are available because the TV version of YouTube isn't set up like that. So please grab your cell phone YouTube, grab your laptop desktop YouTube. The links will be live and ready so you can click on it and join me. Come on over.